Hey, I'm Gareth from Gareth Takes Photos, and today you join me in this lovely woodland area called Park Wood uh, near Ryslip. And we're going to be exploring the area today. I've never been here, and it's a lovely, misty, wet morning. So, what better time to explore a woodland? Let's get into it. I've seen some fun things already, some mushrooms. I'm not even going to begin to pretend to say that I know what they are, but here's a picture there. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what they are. Uh, I didn't touch them just in case because I know nothing. And there's a dog. Hey puppy. <laughs> Hello. Hi! <laughs> You're a furry friendly little puppy. Anyway, now I've been now I've been puppied. Um, where was I? Yes. Seen some interesting little mushrooms. Let me know in the comment section below what you think they are. Also, I've seen a few really interesting tree formations around here, and I've been doing leading lines with the barbs as, as I normally do in woodland because. I'm kind of clueless when it comes to this photography, so yeah, I'm trying to find some interesting little compositions. But something that's come up today uh, is my tripod. It's kind of getting in the way. I never thought I'd say that, but I'm actually preferring to shoot without the tripod. Um, for those of you who don't know or haven't watched my last video, I recently sold all of my Sony gear, all of it gone everything now I had the uh, guy at park cameras in London tell me I'm stupid for selling all of the gear for switching to the brand I've switched to now so I'll let you be the judge of that I have switched to the Olympus or OM system as it is now EM1 mark 3 and so far I'm loving it I've got a little flippy touchscreen over here it's mad, I've never had that before. And the stabilization in this thing is nuts. Like I'm hand holding half a second shots and they're sharp. Like a mushroom shot you saw, half a second handheld while I was crouching. Bonkers. <laughs> and that was even do the way out at a 200 mil equivalent as well. Handheld. <laughs> half a second. That's nuts. Um, there's a cool little bridge here, I might shoot that in a second. That's why I'm just sort of lingering in this area so I'm gonna get off the video and shoot this little bridge thing and I'll talk to you in a bit one of the reasons I switched was portability and this is mostly down to my own doing because it is kind of how I am um, I had 12 lenses for the Sony system 12 I had the trinity of zooms I had a range of primes and a range of adapted lenses and it got to the point where I didn't want to leave <laughs> didn't want to leave any one lens at home because um, I might miss something and then obviously a lot of the zooms I had switching hands a lot of the zooms I had were adapted zooms as well so switching between them was a little bit of a faff compared to having a native lens and native lenses for decent f2.8 ones on the Sony system they're going to set you back a bit, so it wasn't really what I was into. So I like to keep things cheap. Which uh, is why I switched to Olympus here. I now have, put this tripod down over here. I now have one camera body and two lenses. I have an ultra wide zoom, which I'm using now, which is the 7 to 14, and I have the 12 to 100 f4 pro is which allows me to do the weirdly good handheld stabilized shots what that gives me equivalent to full frame focal length wise is a 14 to 200 which is what i had before but now it's only two lenses and they're both native which means i can just quickly snap on snap off between the two it makes life so much simpler 
and it makes my backpack a lot lighter. <laughs> and that's what it comes down to at the end of the day, is portability and lightness. So let me know in the comments section below if you shoot the Micro Four Thirds format and what you like about it and any lenses you might recommend for the future. I'm not going to buy them now because I quite like having the two lens set up, but in the future maybe I might extend that to some primes. Who knows? We'll see. Oh, what a beautiful day. Let's get on snapping. I'm going to throw up some images I took just now. Oh, I'm not used to vlogging, holding the camera out again. <laughs> this isn't even a heavy camera. My arms look... <laughs> oh, I need to get fit again. Let's go join that gym again. So, anyway, rambling on. While I walk back to my, my car, I'm um, going to have a little story time. So, recently I was going to my friend's uh, wedding celebration he was holding in the UK. He was holding his wedding actually abroad, but for all the people that couldn't make it, he was holding a celebration at Hatfield House here in the UK. For us lot who just couldn't get to the uh, other location. Which is really nice of him, and something that not many people do. Now he had asked me originally if I want to do the photography for him or if I just want to be a guest and I just want to enjoy the day and initially I said I'd rather just be a guest to be honest um, you know I've known him for years almost two decades at this point and it would be nice to celebrate a special day with him and his uh, new wife to be so that was the original plan <laughs> but the afternoon before the event, I get a message in my inbox. Hey Gav, could you do me a huge favour? Now, I sort of knew where this was going already, <laughs> just by just by the fact I know what he's like. So I was like, yeah, sure, what's up? What's happened? How can I help? And he said, Gav, my photographer, sort of hands again. Gav, my photographer has cancelled on me. Is there any chance? you could do the photos of the day for me and I said yeah of course absolutely I can so it's like sweet I'm doing the photos problem though problem two days before that because I wasn't aware I'm gonna be shooting photos that's when I got rid of all my Sony gear <laughs> all of my fast primes all of my zooms <laughs> everything the camera body gone um, I had this camera body here had just arrived Jesus, Gav, heavy body. This camera body here just arrived the day of the event and I only had this 7 to 14 mil zoom on me, which I could have used, but at the same time, a 7 to 14 mil, which is equivalent to 14 to 28, doesn't really cut it if you want to do portraits, if you want to do proper event photography. You need more range than that. So I went back home and I looked in my supplies box because I do have a box full of supplies. Now, yeah, so I looked in the supplies box and I saw I did still have my Canon 5D Classic. Getting a bit long in the tooth. Only has one card slot, but really at this point, what choice did I have? I did have a Trinity of zooms for it as well. I still had the 17 to 40 f4, uh, the Tamron 28 to 75 f2.8 for EF mount that is a really old lens that one as well and I had the Canon 80-200 f2.8L lens now these aren't what I would normally choose to go shoot such an event but it's all I had so I went there and I took some video of the day so I'm going to prop some video now do some voiceover over the top of it and throw some photos in there and let me know what you think so the main idea behind what I was there to shoot was uh, to be a fly on the wall to get scenes and situations where you catch people smiling, having fun, and to set up a few uh, more formal shots where you actually get people to pose. Now, I'd spoken to my friend beforehand, and that's the style that he wanted. So naturally, I set up a few shots and just walked around. As you can see, I was going from indoors to outdoors constantly uh, so obviously I had to keep bumping the settings around uh, but one of the main things I discovered about the 5D Classic is in low light 
when you're using high ISO, it's quite noisy. Quite, quite noisy. And obviously, I'm not going to use flash because, in all honesty, I don't use flash that much to the point where I couldn't reliably use it effectively. So I didn't want to be fumbling with settings and miss a moment, whereas I'm much better with natural light and the available light that's there in the scene. So I know I can use my aperture, my ISO, my shutter speed properly to try and expose the shot nicely, which inev inevitably did bring some noise into the lower light shots. But I'm, pre I'm still pretty happy with how they came out, to be honest. And yeah, I think they are too. So, hey, win-win. Now, this isn't the type of photography I would normally do. I'm more of a landscape astrophotographer, do a little bit of architecture photography. But it was definitely very fun and something I will be looking into doing more of in the future. If you shoot this type of photography often, uh, let me know what your setup is in the comments below. I'd be interested to hear what other people use. Because although the 5D was pretty good, I do feel like there's a lot better setups out there which I could be using. So yeah, let me know. Always interested. Spark up the conversation. And now I'm just going to throw up some of the images from the day that I took, that I enjoyed. It's not all of them, but to put all of them in here would just be too long. So enjoy. So yeah, now you've seen some of the footage and the photos, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Did I do okay, considering I had a 17-year-old camera and like a 33-year-old lens as the main one I was using, the 80-200? to um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out, to be honest. A lot of the photos um, look really filmic, which I quite like, which is a... That's really a positive of the 5D Classic itself. It's quite a film-like file it puts out and the skin tones it puts out are really nice as well. The Tamron lens I was using does put out a really warm looking image so you do need to adjust the white balance a little bit with that lens and it's only that lens that does that so I don't know maybe just the characteristic of the coating on it but hell I enjoyed it I think they enjoyed it too I'm sure they'll probably comment below um, yeah so let me know let me know what you think and I'm going to head out now. I had a great time here. Lights popping, everything. Ah, I'm going to head out now, go back to work. So I've been Gaffin Gaff takes photos. Like, subscribe, comment, do all the things, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.